Greetings from the Ericos, this is Matt Shad. On this wonderful Saturday, it is currently 20 degrees. I just came in uh, from running errands out there. Uh, it's freaking cold. <laughs> uh, well, no, actually, it's a heat wave here in, uh, here in Cleveland. Yeah, uh, it's 20 degrees. The sun is shining. There's no real snow or talk of snow. There might be some small remnants of snow banks here and there, but that's, that's about it. Uh, yeah, uh, today's a good day. You know, everybody's like, well, you know, it's, it's climate change. It's climate change. Now, welcome to Cleveland. It's, it's, it's winter. <laughs> it's what it does. Uh, so, yeah. Um, <laughs> um, it's a good day. It is. It's a good day. But I'll tell you, those who did not have a good day, that's right. You guessed it. Those Americans that were trapped in Afghanistan, left there by Trader Joe and his malicious slash incompetent regime. At least we forget that 13 servicemen and women died at Abbey Gate in Kabul, Afghanistan, August, along with 200 other poor souls. And 300 plus people lost arms and legs and limbs. Things that don't grow back. And a lot of those folks were service members as well. Every day, never forget. And never forget whose fault this is. But there was hope. There was hope. These folks are still in country. Uh, usually getting out the foreign nationals that, that helped us, uh, you know, in the war against terror, but uh, that would be Task Force Argo, Task Force Pineapple, Project Axis, Project Dynamo, Christian Coalition, Mighty Oak Foundation, just to name a few. Uh, meanwhile, <laughs> meanwhile, balloons are everywhere, and they're not from here, or that's what they tell us. I, I mean, you know, it's 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 interesting how how we just kind of believe and assume. Uh, that what they're telling us is true. But that's all the intel we have. It's uh, all we know. We, 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 we know where they came from. We know what their dead reckoning was, uh, where they've been. And, uh, you know, that's about it. We can speculate where they're going. <laughs> Purpose? They're there. there. There they are. In the sky. Purpose? I don't know. Whatever. But apparently there's more coming. <laughs> there's more more balloons coming. I, I mean, uh, you know the the uh, the inaction that is happening here is the most disturbing. Not the fact that that there's something here from somewhere else. Yes, I'm quoting ninety nine uh, red balloons, but <laughs> you know, why is it still up there? Why is it not down on the ground in pieces? I mean, really, uh, you know, uh, being over Montana, it, that would be the perfect place to shoot it down, you know, and, and to, to collect a brief field because there's not a lot of people living in Montana. Really not. Uh, you know, so, uh, rest assured, though, that they are watching it and really, really watching. Every, every intelligence asset we have and then some are up there circling these things, jamming and, and gathering their intel and, and taking pictures and, and you know, listening. and all, all the things are being uh, done. There's literally a, a cone of, of uh, aircraft surrounding this thing. You know, so at any point in time, they can just go weapons hot, go, you know, weapons hot, you know, free weapons, free, go hot. Uh, yeah, that's what I meant. Weapons free, go hot. And boom, this thing's done and on the ground. Yeah, yeah. Granted, it's from a high elevation and sure they're worried about what's in it. But who gives a fuck? Shoot it down. <laughs> shoot it down and shoot anything else that comes near our airspace. Uh, you know, is is this... It, many, many questions arise from this, you know. Um, is our sovereignty been absolved? Uh, that, that's, that's an interesting uh, thing we've, we heard. Um, an interesting argument. It, it, maybe that's why that, that, you know, well, you know, China is just flying over their asset, their property. <laughs> uh, but the official statement from China was like, well, it's unfortunate that one of our civilian Surveillance uh, craft has entered your airspace. Sorry about that. 
I don't know. Uh, <laughs> and of course, you know, any attempts for us, we the people or any other any other uh, entities that are not DOD, have been banned from gathering any kind of intelligence on this thing. You know, uh, it's way up there. It's way up there. And there's more along the way. You know, there's one in Costa Rica. There's one in uh, off the in Canada. The, this thing came from the north, from the Arctic, and just kind of floated its way in. Uh, floated. Uh, yeah, sure, it's directed. You know, it's got it's got antimony. Uh, it can be somebody's driving that thing. Uh, either that, or or it has a predetermined flight path that's been programmed in. I mean, there's you know, we have the technology, so they so do they. So uh, you know, it's it's not beyond the the scheme of things that, to understand what the capability of this thing is, the possibilities of it. Does it have a payload? Does it is it just you know doing surveillance? Is is it just you know what? I mean, is there biologicals up there? You know, a, a myriad of, of questions come to mind. We do not know the answer to these questions, uh, and I'm pretty sure that DOD does, but of course they're not saying anything. Um, you know, because obviously you know, it's 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 a very highly sensitive situation. Hmm. Shoot that motherfucker down. <laughs> That's what I vote. Shoot it down. We the people say shoot that motherfucker down. You know, see what it is. You know, uh, why is there balloons up there? Uh, so, you know, not from around here. Are there ours? Maybe there are ours. Maybe. Uh, but, you know, why Why would we be watching our own assets? Why won't we just be controlling our own assets? So uh, everything is in the air right now. So it is, it is high alert, uh, DEFCON 2 or whatever, uh, you know, whatever that means. Um, so, but the blackout, is is the part that that really gets me and the black and and the fact that they're just up there just doing their thing being allowed to operate in our airspace in our sovereign airspace or is it uh so another thing is uh team linda team linda go team linda uh, team linda is uh is kicking major ass right now in cancer uh cancer is it mo there there's a there's an update that that uh, it, it's a lung cancer and a, I think a brain tumor uh, as well, but the lung cancer it, with, after the radiation and, and of course there's, there's chemo to come, chemo and radiation, it seems to have been dissipated and uh, uh, drainage from the lung uh, has been done. Uh, so uh, things are on the mend. The, the team Linda is like, hey, this is great news. Uh, now, of course, we're, they're addressing the the uh, um, the brain tumor, but uh, all systems are a go for Team Linda. Uh, keep fighting the good fight. Go Team Linda. So uh, this has been Mad Shad. Um, love you, Linda, and uh, thank you very much. Um, if you don't know, I mean, Linda is a good friend of mine uh, here, in Cleveland. Uh, she's helped me out a lot, and uh, we've been friends ever since I got here. So. Uh, I'd, I'd, I'd say my first friend, really, <laughs> uh, really, and I don't make a lot of friends. I really don't, but the ones I do, uh, you know, friends for life, indeed. So, uh, yes. So go team, Linda. Go team, Linda. Uh, and this has been Mad Shad. Every day, never forget.